We just completed a 3,300 mile road trip and we counted up that we went to eight western states and we did it all driving around in this little mini Cooper S. Can you believe that? It's the smallest car I've ever been on a road trip with, but it's built like a Swiss army knife that fits everything we needed. I wanted to show you how we had it set up, so come on inside with me. Some important things. Well, first of all, you gotta be comfortable, and we always put our iPhone here so we can navigate and see what's going on. So one of the things we found is it's actually important to have a physical road atlas. So this is California, for instance, obviously where we are now, where we started out. So you can always physically see what's going on. That's actually really important in our digital world. We tend to rely a lot on, you know, our iPhone and Waze and so forth. But it's good to be able to see where you are and where you're going, what states you're going to and that sort of thing. Let me show you what's in back and how we put this together. So here's the back of our Mini, where we store most of our stuff, and what you can see here, uh, we've got three cases here. Two of them are personal suitcases, but I, I've been carrying this tripod around. I haven't used it once. I was going to do some live composition astrophotography, but unfortunately with the fires it's just been too dark. Now normally... I have this in the second row there, but inside here, I'm carrying my basic still camera. This is the EM-1 that, that Olympus has loaned me, and I've got three different lenses. You know, I want to keep it handy so I can grab it whenever I need it. These are the other lenses, right? And this is, this is my basic still photography kit. Also, I'm shooting video with it. Lens cleaning kit, very important. you got to keep your lens clean cards from Think Tank. This is a Think Tank bag here. And, you know, other important things. You've got to have a spare battery. The other day we were shooting at the end of the shoot. The batteries, all the batteries were dead. So anyway, keep this really handy. And then here I've got my bigger Think Tank airporter bag. And in here, uh, stuff that I'm not using that often but I need to have handy. So I've got my Hasselblad film camera and I've got film here. And you know, all the stuff that you got to always have with you, spare batteries, all that stuff that I don't need all the time, but I want it to be handy, stays here. And you know, the only bummer about it is you got to schlep this stuff in and out of where, you know, you don't want to leave it in your car overnight, that sort of thing. So there's that, and then the last component of this travel kit here. And we use these bungee cords to pull the seat back. Actually, that's really important because they're a little too long for the back of this Mini. So we have to open the seats, push them back. But these bungees are super handy because they bring the seats back from falling forward. Last component is I have this little Patagonia bag. And I've got my MacBook Pro because what I'm doing is transferring from the cards to this hard drive. We try to do it every day. And we do a, a slight bit of editing on a few of the photographs. I'm not going to edit stuff until I get home, but it's nice to be able to take a look at what's going on. So that's our travel kit, and it all fits in the little Mini Cooper. Thank you guys. There'll be a lot more videos from the trip itself. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Leave your questions and your comments. Like the video, share it. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life.